Operations and Algebraic Thinking. This is Common Core State Standard for third grade. 3.0a.1. This is the first of four standards. Interpret products of whole numbers. So we're only focusing on whole numbers for this standard. And the most important thing is to have students understand that five groups of seven can be represented with numbers. So we want to start with a visual representation before moving to numbers. We want to really focus on not just memorizing five times seven. We want them to understand that it's groups of things that we're talking about. And so we'll create a visual to help them understand that. And then what we want students to do is be constructing these visuals and talking and working with partners to discuss, to make sure that they understand the essential underpinnings behind this equation. Let's go ahead and start a problem by finding an image that we can go ahead and use. So we're going to go out to the web and, oh, I already did a search, so we're going to take this very happy looking ball, make it a little smaller, and we're going to move it way up into the corner. Now there's a great little trick called duplicate. So watch this. We're going to make a lot of them. Then we'll go ahead and start making a problem. So first thing we're going to do is drag one of those over there. We're going to make a group of three. And then we're, oops, that's a very, not very neat. We're going to make a group of three, and then we're going to make another group of three. Okay, doesn't matter, they're not perfect. And let's say that we make another group of three. So let's think about this. Do we have enough to make another group? Let's try. One, two, three. All right, then we've got one left over. Hmm, I don't know what we'll do with that one. How about if we just delete it? Oh, yay, then we're all happy. Okay, so now let's look at what we have. We have a lot of little smiley faces, but let's talk about, um, let's pick up a pen, and then let's talk about how many groups we have. So here's one group. There's one group. Here's another group of three. So how many groups of three is that that I've circled? That would be two groups. Let's now do another group. Here's a group of three. And here's one more. Okay, so now we know that each one of them has three in there. But how many groups of three are there? We circled one, two, three, four. So it would be four. We have four groups of three, and one way we can represent that is by putting a multiplication sign in here. Four groups of three equals, what is it? Let's count up. We can count up, we can pick up another pen, and we click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <gasps> Did you get twelve? Twelve. So, Four groups of three equals 12. Now that you had a chance to watch the screencast, one idea would be have groups of students create a screencast very much like the one you just watched. You can use an iPad, you can use an interactive whiteboard, there's all different um, apps, and there's websites including screen castomatic that you can go ahead and capture their thinking and discussing as they create and build examples. Idea number two is to use a hundred board and they can create, they can color, they can shade, um, use markers, crayons, anything to go ahead and create their own groups and then have other students talk about the problem that could be um, created as a result of what they've created on the 100 board. For your third idea, create models with different objects. We all know that some students need to see these ideas three, four, five times. Go ahead and create different models using anything you can get your hands on. Your I can statement for this Common Core State Standard could be something like, I can explain the meaning of a product.